on that in just a moment. And again, I'm going to blend this out, and I'm actually already in the second video. So, um, in the first video, I just wanted to touch up my makeup for my video here, and so I went ahead and showed you how I would touch up. And I'm using the Lorac Pro to go, and I'm all done. I guess I could, real quickly, instead of just using the eyeshadow side, I could also use the blush and bronzer side. So I take my Kat Von D uh, foundation brush. It's obviously a small size for your purse, and I'm just going to lightly push this in there like that. Don't over swoosh it around and waste all that product. And I am going to just kind of stay around back here in swirling motion into that little... Um, what am I trying to say? We're going to contour here. Going up in the hairline. Staying back there. Mm -hmm. Can do it again. Alright, so there's no mirror. Why am I doing that? Okay, so I've got this mirror down here. And my age spot's just like really sticking out. So we're just going to blend that little brown right into this brown. Mm -hmm. And if you've got a big nose like me, don't go under here like they tell you to and put white down the nose. Don't do that. Go from the bridge to the top of your nose. A little on either side. And what that does is that dark color recedes your big old nose. Okay? Alright, so I'm going up the side here. And then that big chin. And we're going underneath the chin to cut in a little bit. Maybe give us a little bit of, you know how these jowls drop right there? Just go ahead and hit those up a little bit. But blend it back out, blend it back out. Okay, we're set. Oh, wait, flip it to the other side and let's do uh, some blush. I'm choosing this kind of coral color right here on the end with a touch of pink on the top. And so I'm going to smile and get the pink first. See how the pink went right there and then kind of blend that coral. And then kind of swirl it all together, eh? Right there and then up. So coral, pink, knock off the excess. Right there, the pink hits, and then coral. It's right underneath it. Swirl it around and up. Swirl it around and up. Swirl it around and up and up and up. And right over the base of the chin. And right at the top of the nose. And then how about a little there? I am tired of making up for you guys. This is what you get. I, what I am is what you get. Okay. I have a little something in my mouth. So from earlier, this now can go back in. You know what else is in my purse? This was a what's in my purse earlier. Here's the purse. It's a Prada purse. I like it. It's got two zippers and then a middle. I like it a lot. I like more structured bags. And I especially like when it's got little gold things on the bottom. So you hear it. It's just fun. I got my little Rihanna um, umbrella from the drugstore. I love this thing. It's so lightweight you almost can't feel it and it fits in a purse. In case it rains. And then I also have my Prada sunglasses. Do I look like a movie star? Oh, you darling. <laughs> okay, so let's get serious. Let me put all that back in there. All right, we're gonna put this down. What I wanted to talk to you guys about today was holiday decor. And I, instead of drinking in front of you with this wonderful cup of coffee, I've been eating peanuts out of my cup. Mmm. Mmm. There's sunflower seed, pumpkin seed, some almonds. There's wonderful cashews. Mmm. I love cashews. And pecans. Mmm. My mother would have a cow that I'm talking with my mouth full. The other thing that I'm going to do is a plan with me tonight. I'm going to be uploading a lot of videos. That's what I do. <laughs> okay. My ears itching. Don't worry, there's nothing in my ears. Matter of fact, I have a problem. I keep my ears so clean that my doctor said, your ears are too clean. There's no wax. And I said, yeah, but when I was in second grade, I saw a little boy and he had so much wax in his ears, it was like blackish orange goo. And I just can't. And he said, but wax is made to catch bad things that try to get in your ears and you, you're keeping them too clean. Because you do that, your ears itch because it also moisturizes your ears. So don't overuse the Q-tips, y'all. And don't put them too far down in your ear. Now I'm sounding like your mother. Well, whatever. All right. So how are we going to de decorate for the Thanksgiving holidays or just the fall holidays? First of all, we have our trusty um, 
turkey guy back here. He's a, he's a, he's, he stands up on a little stand. So I got him at, um, I think, Michael's. All right, so basic stuff. Besides the fact that on Thanksgiving Eve, while you're e drinking your eggnog, you can start your Christmas cards. If you would like a Christmas card from me, then please feel free to go over to my Facebook page and private message me. Or whatever you call it. Messenger? Facebook page, y'all should know by now, is Beth Buchanan. Fashion Glamour and Bling, oh my. I'd love to see a new Christmas card. I'm not going to show you what it says. You can't see it. <laughs> but isn't it pretty? I believe that Christmas is about the birth of Christ. Period. I believe there's all kinds of fun little traditions that surround it. Like gift giving. Because St. Nicholas gave gifts. Because he's very wealthy. And he gave fruit. And he gave clothing to orphan children. Because he was a wealthy young man. And I think that's quite commendable. But he's not the jolly St. Nick that the Coca-Cola company made him out to be. With the artist Adam Sumblum. I think is his name. Anyway, that's not what it's about. But I still think you can enjoy Christmas carols of all times that remind you, remind you of your childhood. The Christmas tree, which everybody says, it's a pagan thing. It's like, it's a tree. But put you, your family ornaments are on it. If that's all that means to you. The important thing is, is that you do celebrate it at the right time and the right moment between you and Christ that it's about his birth. And the whole point is, it's kind of sad because he was born to die for your sins. And I'm very thankful for that. And big time celebrate that at Easter. Not the bunny. But I like the bunny. That's just not what I celebrate. Okay. Christmas cards are coming. Start with Thanksgiving because I get so behind. All right. So that's first. Um, all kinds of things. You know, sometimes people tell me that, you know, I don't have a lot of money to do that. There's all kinds of little decorations that you can do. And sometimes it can be just one. Here's a really neat one. You can get this at um, Bed Bath & Beyond. And it's just a placemat. And it's a leaf. And I put that down and I set a candle on top and that's my decoration. Not expensive. What about one of these? This is from Michael's floral department. You know what? Stick that in a pretty little vase. And just, you know, position it all just right. And maybe put something around it like, I don't know. I don't know, maybe a candle? And don't put it near the lit candle. It will catch on fire. We don't want that. I mean, how hard is that? That and a few cashews. I mean, how hard is that? This is $1.25. Mmm. At Kroger's. You can do it. Okay. Oh, this. I think I got this at the drugstore. When people say, I don't have the money for a big expensive wreath. Try a little one. No, I got this at the dollar store. Isn't that the cutest? It's made in China. And then it says, Yorba Linda, California. Maybe that's where it's distributed from. Anyway, it's really cute. It's tiny. I hang it on the wall of my kitchen. But you can put that on your front door. Especially if you have an apartment. What else? Well, let's face it. Everybody needs your basic turkey. It's a turkey. It's just a little turkey. It was also made in China. So what do I do with this? Well, I take your basic um, Old Time Pottery 399 Pilgrim Lady with her cornucopia and Pilgrim Man with his gourds of all kinds and corn. And I sit the turkey in between them on the island in my kitchen. And that's my decoration. Done! Okay, then another thing that I have, and this is because of my addiction, amongst other things, to candles. Now that my they're bothering my husband, though, I can't really use them that much. But here's a... Excuse me, won't you? <clears throat> um, Yankee Candle, be thankful. Yum. You know, I don't even light it, but I just have it out. And look at this beautiful um, little lid that has a cornucopia on it. Right there. Can you see that? And it has pumpkins and acorns. And look at the little plate. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And so you sit the candle on it and put the little lampshade on it. And you sit that on a little table. Done. 
That could be your only arrangement. You don't have to do all of these. And what about your basic turkey candy dish? Well, of course. My mom had one of these when I saw this at wherever it was. Michael's or something. I had to have one. You can put those little, what do you call them? The little candy corns. Put those in here. That'll look real cute. Or anything. Chocolate kissies. Snicker bites. Reese pieces. Anyway. I bet you I've gone into three videos by now. I'm just going to keep going. Okay. I don't know how to read the time on this thing. Um, you can do just a simple kitchen towel in the kitchen and look. I just lay that out by the sink, and then uh, next to the sink, I have my, which I showed you on another video when I did a haul from uh, Bath and Body Works. No. Yeah, Bath and Body Works. Um, you know, they're having like a two for three or buy one, get 24,000 of them. Um, and I got a pumpkin spice latte caramel spiced vanilla, pineapple, oranges, Thanksgiving is so, And I put this right next to it, and it looks so nice. And you can do the same thing in the bathroom. And all of a sudden, done. You have it de decorated. Uh, if you have a, a little more money, you can get the $5 set that I got at Bath & Body Works last year, and I put it out every year. Never use them, because they're just too cute. But look, it says Happy Thanksgiving, and all three of these came together. Isn't that the cutest? Very pretty. Okay, so I think we are going to go into three videos because I'm not finished. I'm not. And I'm going to keep going. And this video...